Amen. Amen. But I want to show something very important. And then we pray and go. The book of Acts chapter number 3. Verse number 20, 22 and 25. Bible says. First Moses said to the forefathers. The Lord God will raise up for you a prophet. Among your brethren. As he raised up me. Him you shall listen to and understand by hearing and heed in all things whatever he tells you. And it shall be that every soul that does not listen to and understand by hearing and he that prophet shall be utterly ex exterminated from among the people. Malachi chapter number 4 Verse number 5 and number uh, 6 Malachi chapter number 4 Verse number 5 and 6. Let's begin from verse number 4. Remember the law of my servant Moses, the decrees and laws I gave him at Holeb for all Israel. Verse number 5 says See I will send you the prophet Elijah Be before that great and dreadful day of the Lord comes. I'll send a prophet and he will verse number 6 he will turn the hearts of the fathers to their children and the hearts of the children to their fathers, oh Eris, I will come and strike the land with a curse. Now I'm going to teach you about a prophet. And I'm going to teach you about the prophetic. And I'm going to teach you how to become a prophet. And I'm going to teach you how you can hear the voice of God. How you can prepare your ground to hear the voice of God. Some of you, your ground is so dull. They are so dull that God cannot put the seed of his word in that ground. 
So this month I tell you by the time we finish You change every situation around your life In the name of Jesus Amos chapter number 3 and verse number 7 Surely the servant Lord does nothing without revealing his plan to his servants the prophets mazimadala katonde ya sukuluma owobuyiza tali kocha alikola ngatasose chibikulira bawerezabe obaba nabbi hosea 12:13 tugende mu hosea 12:13 and by a prophet the Lord brought Israel out of Egypt. And by a prophet was he preserved or was there preserved. Can I hear somebody say amen? Now I want you to understand because there is a lot of rumors going in Uganda. Everyone who prophesies they call them false prophets. That is a lie. Prophecy is part of the five uh, ministerial offices. In fact, the church, the end time church, is established on the apostolic and on the prophetic. Now God is our father. And he has written a script upon everybody. God has a script of your life. He has a script of your life. And I don't know how many things God has written in your script. So God will raise a prophet to show you and to remind you what God has written about you. Can I hear somebody say amen? So every person Son. If you are going to become great You must have your own man of God You must have your prophet And I believe I'm a good prophet for you Can I hear somebody say amen Now let me show you a few things And I show you the nature of a prophet and then I'm going to prophesy. Can I hear somebody say amen? Number one, the prophet Nabi. comes to set up that what, what, which is upset. He comes to set up that which is upset. Now, a prophet. Nabi. He has a mantle that can shift seasons. Mm. A prophet can shift your season. I'm push you out of this and push you into that. I speak prophetically. I shift you from a season of lack and I push you into a season of abundance. We can do it. We can do it. And before the end of this week, there are some people right here that are going to prove to testify of the message of this day. 
There are some people that are going to call you and give you money without you asking them. Lift up your hand and say amen. 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 Say that. I receive it. So Tula. whatever is set up. Hmm. He sets up. I take a walk. Amen. Amen. He comes to set up. That which is upset. Number two. He calls into line those which are out of line. No, he puts people in line. He puts things in line. <laughs> Everybody, there is a line following you. The reason why you are struggling in life is that what is following you is bad. You are filled with monitoring spirits, you are filled with curses, you are filled with poverty. Misfortune, rejection, disappointment, frustration, depression, oppression, opposition is what is following you. Now we need a prophetic knowing that God has released this month to put in order what is not in order. And I prophesy that after tonight what is going to monitor your life is called goodness mercy prosperity favor grace anointing miracles power signs wonders peace joy victory there is going to be a traffic jam of testimonies. A traffic jam of miracles. Mm. <laughs> Sit down. We are still talking. The prophetic mantle puts in line what is not in line. Are you prophesying for a short man? In Botswana. It's called Oti. His name is short the way he was short. Oti. Oti Limpi. <laughs> Very short like this. And every girl he went to, they looked at his size. You know, girls, they don't like short men. They said that short men are complicated. I thank God I'm not short. <laughs> I was very short. <laughs> very short. I was the shortest in the family. They even nicknamed me. Do you know that frog? They used to call me a frog. But Fire. Very short man. One day my mama he cried and said, God. What happened to my son? 
What is he the shortest? Is the most handsome. But too short. God had her prayer. Yeah. Mm. I think this size is okay for no size, eh, mala. Now, Oti. Oti. Every girl rejected him. 2011, I'm in Botswana. He came. Naja. He said, if you can pray for the people, walk. I can go grow taller. I told him what size. He said, You pray, pray, pray. I slapped in his forehead. No, I told him, I command you to grow tall. And I told him, I'm going back. When the size you want reaches, size Come me. And I stop it. Growing taller and taller and taller. Now one for one, now one for And he called me after six months. I said, Papa, Tata, this is enough for me. Now. Oh my goodness. <laughs> we can put in a line which what is not in line. We can make a poor man become rich. Sit down. Tula. Mm. In Rustenburg, Rustenburg, Miracle Center, Miracle Center, the Church of Apostle Roland. I wish was here. There is a guy called William. William. It's the assistant pastor. Days, they, they, the company was closing. Company, one month to close. And I come there to preach. And I call him. And I profess. I say, William. William. In three months, you are going to be promoted more than your boss. William looked at me. So what is this prophet professor? The company is closing next month. And you're saying I'm going to be promoted more than my boss. I prophesied and I left. After one month, the company closed. William calls me. William Man of God. Now I don't have a job. But I remember your prophet and the devil told me you lied you lied to the man after two months William called man of God I'm still believing God I have no job the devil told me you, are you better be ashamed of yourself Two weeks. Weeks In the third before the third month elapses. William. William. Calls me. I refuse to pick. <laughs> because I don't want disappointment. I don't believe in bad news. You shall not hear bad news. William sent a message. William Nansindikiraka message. Papa, receive my call. Tata, what a simu yange. I have a testimony. In Abu Julizi. He called. Nakuba. I picked. Nenkwate simu. I picked. Nenkwate simu. I have it here, it's okay. I picked. Nenkwate simu. And William tells me. William Wangamba. Do you know what happened is Papa? They call me Papa there. Do 
you know what happened? I went to apply for a job in a new company. Not knowing that even my boss has gone to ask for a job in the same company. I asked it for a higher position. And my boss asked for a lower position. We all got the job. Surprisingly, when I was in the office, my boss came to report to me. Boss wange huyo nga gwenda ba yajja kulipotinga jendi. Prophet can put in a line what is not in a line. Sit down. Let me show something. In Tanzania, Dar es Salaam. Tanzania, Dar es Salaam. There is a woman. She was 50 years old. 50 years old. She had adopted 12 children. Because she was barren. 35 years in marriage. Without a baby. Adopted 12 children. She had gone to India. India. She had gone to India. She had gone to every preacher. She had gone to Nigeria. Everywhere. Nothing. She had me on radio. Preaching. And she invited me in her home. I do not normally go to people's homes. Because I know. What happens. So I felt to God. And I went there and I sat in a seat. This is what she said. Man of God, I just called you here because I like and I love your anointing. While she was still talking, I asked her, do you have children? She said, yes, I have. I have. And I told her, the Spirit of God is telling me, you have no child. She started to cry. And she said, I've adopted 12 children. 12 of them. Very rich. Down rich. But no child. And I told her, next year by this time, you shall have a baby boy. And you shall name him Samuel. And I left. You know, my work is to say. Now, the word prophecy has two words. Has the word pro. Somebody say pro. pro. <laughs> it means to foresee. To foresee. And then it has the word verse. Which means to say. To speak. To act. To announce, to declare, to pronounce. Mm. So, when I see professor, I see and then I say, I don't care where you are now. I see and I say, I hear somebody say I amen. receive it. Amen. Do you want me to say tonight? Should I prophesy in this minute? Pro, 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 pro. Can I pro? Watch this. I'm still giving you some secret sin. Now, this woman, she started to cry. And I left. I don't want to see people crying. 
faces of people <laughs> looks funny when they are crying. So, the Bible says in Romans chapter 6, verse 18, because I don't take people's numbers. I'm not cheap to that extent. Amen. Amen. Some of you are going to become great ministers. You should value yourself. You are a priest. How can a priest ask for a, a Christian a, a number? Me. I don't even ask people to give me money. You are here. And I have ever called you and told you to send me and lift up your hand. Have I? Have I? Never. I know my value. I don't ask to but people give me man. I'm a priest. I don't take her number. I left. She, I don't know. Because that year I was traveling alone. I went three times to America. America and I went four times to China. So I was busy traveling. So I think she was calling the number and it was go not going through. Because I was staying three months, two months abroad. Now, in January, she calls me. She said, I am. You remember the woman you prayed for? The place is called Kitunda. Said, I remember. I told her, call me back later. Because I don't want to hear bad news. So she sent a message. Because she called and called and I was not picking. So she also sent a message. Said, I just want you to come home. And see what the Lord has done. I told one of my sons, let's go. We drove there. We go there. This is what she said. Say, Pastor. Immediately you left my house. I sat in your chair. And I said the God of this man. He has turned my life around. And I said the God of this man. Give me my baby. 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 Years old. Prophets put in line what is not in line. There is a lady in our church in Dar es Salaam. She's called Suma. 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 She got sick. Yalwala. And they removed the womb. So she comes to the service, a prophetic service like this. And I was prophesying. And I called her. I said, Thus says the Lord. You shall have four children. I didn't know her. People looked down. Who know her? And they said this, pro, this pastor is also trying to prophesy. He said to me, anyone of you can prophesy. You can. Suma, Suma, the womb is not in. And she cried. 
deeply and the husband also cried deeply and then she came after the service pastor I don't have a womb and I told her the blessings of God has no sorrow after three months she was not going to parliament she went to the doctor the doctor said we are seeing a stone a stone and you need the operation she came to me I told her the blessing of God has no sorrow five months they said we are seeing like a baby but a baby is like a fish I told her the blessing of God has no sorrow seven months they said a baby nine months they said we don't see baby we are only seeing water and we need to operate you and remove the water because we are going to die she was in going into the, the labor I mean the operation room operate and remove the water when she was crying she said the God of living stone in that hospital there was a nurse who was born again I told her let us pray they made her again and they said what is going on because now like we are seeing a baby we have seen water now they are seeing a baby she called me and I told her you will not be operated you shall give birth seven hours later a baby girl came out as I speak right now Suma has three children three children she will come here she will come here three children the prophetic the prophet can put in line what is not in line. My God. Shatakayava. Pro, pro, pro. Watch this, watch this. Sit down. Sit down. Tula. The prophet Nabi. is God's detective. Nabi. Tugambeye kalabalaba wakatonda. Do you know a detective? Mm. Seeking for a lost treasure. Oh, mama, 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 mama. I can detect and know where your treasure is. And I send you there. I can detect and I see the source of your problem and I tell you your problem if I'm a prophet I must produce solution and a prophet who prophesies and does not give solution is not a prophet of God. Prophets come with a solution. Can I hear somebody say amen? Can I hear somebody say amen? A prophet. He has no price tag. You cannot buy my anointing. Me. You. How much can you give me to prophesy? I cannot, you cannot put a, a, a price tag on me. A prophet. Nabi. 
is expensive, is priceless. You cannot buy him. You cannot buy her. Can I hear somebody say amen? He is unquestionable. Unquestionably controversial. And unpardonably hostile. Hey, unpardonably hostile. Mm -hmm. Abela hostile. Kwega nam te ye nenya bwa yogere chigambo taso taso la kwe nenya ruachi achiogede. There was a lady in our church. Walwa muchala mukanisa yafe. I don't know why I'm giving you a lot of examples. This woman, the um, way are two. Um, in Dar es Salaam. Dar es Salaam. They were snakes. They were snakes. Bali misota bana abakazi. They talk bad about the pastor. They talk bad about the church. But they do not leave the church. Snakes. I told them seven days. Repent and apologize. If you don't, God is wrath. It's going to come upon you. They thought I was joking. This living stone. Living stone. Living stone. Wafe. One of them came and cried tears. Say, Papa, I'm very sorry. I don't know what comes on me. Another one refused. She went on talking. After seven days, she fell sick. They diagnosed her with cancer. They took her abroad. They sold everything. She came back with cancer. Sometimes prophets, most especially with people who are apostolic and prophetic, we are so dangerous. We are territorial spirits. A prophet can be trained. A prophet can be inspired. Let me make it more clear. I think your time is getting over. He announces. He pronounces. And he denounces. He has a heart like a volcano. That mountain that melts with fire. Are you hearing me? Their hearts are like a volcano. And their words are like a fire. They face God. Before they face man. They hide with God. In the control room. But when they come out. They come with a public message. Can I prophesy. After today. You will never go low. You will go higher and higher and higher. You are not going any more lower. In your finances. You are not going lower. In your ministry, you're not going lower. In your family, you're not going lower. In your career, you're not going lower. I see you going higher and higher. I see battle after battle. It's came like seven months. It was like a good. It was like abundance. And then after. Because I'm seeing. A few months back. Then the battle started. In the spiritual realm. I see two spirits. The spirit in you. Which is a divine spirit. Fighting with a force. Which is a spirit. That 
comes from the family. And of the spirit in the family. He's saying he, she, he can't. He can't be a man of God. He can't be great. And the spirit of God is saying. He's a great man of God. And the Lord tells me today. To let my anointed hand upon you. And stop that other voice. The voice of the diabolic force. And I command the other voice of God. It teleprut Pushu, Pushu, Him with it. And lifted up. Make it a Jesus. Yes, so. Let the worship team come on the altar. Have a sins I give it to you. I give this high understanding oh. spirit wisdom, knowledge, understanding, counsel, discernment excellence ideas insight I give it to you I give you a portion of it. Touch it. Lift up your hands. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Woman, I prayed for you. But this is what I'm feeling. The enemy wanted to kill this woman. Kill this woman. Oh, no. Next week. week here. The enemy wanted her to become r r r r not mad and run into the car, and the car knocks her um, and she dies. And that spirit is going to lose her right now. Because it has been following and following it and following and following. Watch. I'm going to count seven. Because I'm seeing one, two, three. There are seven spirits. That has been coming upon her mind. I'm going to count seven. You see what is going to happen to her. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Lose. 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 Do you see? Do you see? Do you see? You remove this thing. Remove this thing. Remove it. You will not die. This woman is going to serve God. She will not die. Yeah. 
You cannot die here. 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 Come over here, you. Django. Come over here. I see heat over your head. Ndaba kumutuengo ebugumu. And I see like your heaven has been closed. Ndaba ange gululio eriba deri agarua wo. I go back. Nzira yo emabega. In ebusoga. Ebusoga. In ebunya. Ebunya. I go to this family. And I see two shrines. And I see a woman. Very short. And I see another man. In another big shrine. Very black. Then Era? the Lord tells me two things have been hunting you, but we had not seen it. Because you are the only person that came out of that family. Because it is a Muslim family. And so two things they have been hunting you. They want to keep you poor. They wanted to kill you with the sickness. And today, I release you. I release you and I release your ministry and I see a light shining over your head and this light is flashing out I wish you could feel what I'm feeling when I told you it is a prophetic week you didn't understand bring that woman here that lady here this one come over here mama come over here quickly you come here lift up your hands lift up your hands when I see you growing in Christianity in a prophetic movement you grew up in a prophetic movement in a Christianity and a lot of prophecy was spoken over your life but it's like whatever was spoken was not coming true it was not getting fulfilled the problem was not those who prophesied the problem was in the blood because in the blood there is a principality that fight your destiny it was there since your family started and it has been hunting your life but tonight under the apostolic and prophetic knowing I shift your season a season of prophetic fulfillment because I change your blood I change your system I remove the principality the principality in the blood yes I remove in the name of Jesus and as I lay my anointed hand upon your head every prophecy spoken over your life shall come true you shall not suffer the way people have been saying but I say go into a new season
receive grace receive grace receive grace lift up your hands the Lord is saying that I give, I give you a mantle the Lord is saying I give you a mantle the Lord is saying I give you a mantle the Lord is saying I give you a mantle lift him up the Lord is saying I give you a mantle a prototakataya look at me look at me you look at me stay there look at me I give you a mantle in the name of Jesus give my mano give my mano etala prosotaya etelekete etelekete give me a mantle in the name of Jesus Eyandala prolo kaya tala munagiro satakala prai kebetuya magenda ngokuwa prosotaya tele kabra ngokuwa gutwari kaya tapra kebetuyo kach etala prosotaya na protola kaya tala protola I give it to you etoto prosotoya na eka protolia tasa eleka protokaya na lesete leka prosa the atmosphere has changed. Glory is here. Glory is here. Glory is here. The glory of the Almighty God is here. Yes. is shaped your destiny is shaped I say your destiny is shaped yes your destiny is shaped it all, lift up your hands there are four people four people right here four people Abantubana. your hand is becoming heavy Yes, your hands, your hand is becoming heavy. It's becoming heavy. Yes. Four people. Four people. Your hands are becoming heavy. Four people. Your hands are becoming heavy. The curse of poverty is losing your hands. One, two, three, four. Yes. 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 Sit down, sit down. Mutole, mutole. Sit down. Mutole. The heat is too much. Muriro Munji. It is too much. Come over here. Jango one. Lift up your hands. Muani ke mi kono jamwe. Look at me. Into no lira. The Lord has been preparing you for such a season. He has been preparing you for such a season. You didn't even know that tonight the Lord is dressing you with glory. You didn't know. And I didn't know. But as I'm about to finish, I heard the Lord say that I should dress you with the glory. The Shekinah glory. The Kapo 
kabod. Echitiwe cha kabod. Ola pruda siaka. Echitiwe cha katonda. Enda lindi mbula. Echivira daleri katonda. Yaka. Echaka. Solola. China kuambala. Shiki prututika. Na weto sigareche chemo. Ezandelea. Amagenda goga ino terera. I shape your destiny. I prophesy. And I make you a great man. You are one of the younger men. That are going to operate in my mantle. You are going to operate in the anointing that is upon my life. You are one of the younger men. That is going to put to shake and put upside down cities and nations you are one of the sons of this house that is going to be damned wealth and damned rich I speak I utter I declare I decree I pronounce as I lay my hand upon your head the oil shall evaporate right from your feet and the Go and serve God. Don't worry, provision will come. We got to finish. Come Whose hands itches? There's somebody here. Your hands itches. Come here. Your hands itches. Come here. Lift up your hands. Jesus. Yes. After today. As I'm commanded. I disconnect you from the castle of poverty. Financial bewitchment. Inherited bewitchment. Inherited, Inherited financial bewitchment. Off your hands. Be free. Be free. Be free. Be free. Be free. Be be free. Be free. Be free. This spirit. That is hunting this girl. Lift her up. I've, I've seen it. I've seen it. It is evil. They wanted her to be a witch. I rebuke it. Loose, loose, mote, loose, mote. loose, loose. Out. Vayu. I rebuke it. Nchinenya. I rebuke it. Nchinenya. I bless you. Nkuo mokisa. In Jesus' name. Mulinyaria yes. Go back and sit. Mude yo motule. Somebody celebrate God for her victory. Celebrate God for her victory. Because Congratulations. 
you happy to be here tonight muli basanyu funti mwaze echiro cha lero I want to bless first of all the tithers. You have your tithe. Come up front. Yes. 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 Yes.